Hi, this is George Cow, and there's my sweet little dog, Buddy. Buddy! Such a good dog. So, in this short video, I'd love to talk with you about vision, resistance, and letting go. So, do you have a goal that sings in your heart, a vision that feels so important to your mind? And that's the key. It's got to be something that both aligns with your heart's calling and also with your mind's logic. And if that's true, if you've got something like that, then you are meant to pursue it. And as you pursue it, you're going to come across resistance. Some of that resistance is internal, some is external. The internal resistance that you are meant to overcome shows up as things like fear, anxiety, lack of clarity, uh, it may be procrastination, maybe lack of self-confidence. Self you are meant to overcome these things. Uh, it helps to write things down step by step clear what it is you believe will help you to do to reach that vision closer. It also helps a lot to reach out for help. We don't do that nearly enough in our society today. Reach out for help. Uh, look, look around your friends, your colleagues, online and Facebook groups, reach out for help to help to, to achieve your vision. So you're also, going to over, you're also going to come across outer resistance. You're going to come across people who don't understand what you're trying to do uh, or who feel that uh, it's not time for them to join you yet or to uh, buy into your vision. And if, that's, if, if the vision still sings true to your heart and to your mind, then it is up to you to work diligently to experiment with different ways of communicating that vision so that people that you're trying to reach finally understand it. It helps a lot to get to know the people you are trying to reach. Get to know them better. That's part of your work. Diligently get to know the people you're trying to reach better so that you understand what's important to them, what's relevant to them, so that you can reframe your message. Your vision can be reframed as something that also is important to them, is relevant for them. Now, sometimes you come to a stage in trying to achieve your vision that it no longer sings in your heart or no longer makes sense to your mind or you come across an alternative vision, an alternative path that sings in your heart and makes sense to your mind, then pursue that alternative, okay? Pers don't be um, fixated on something that no longer makes sense to your spirit and to your mind. You can always change and find an alternative way but if you don't have an alternative and this still this vision is still makes sense to you it's just that you're afraid or you're getting resistance outside guess what you are meant to work diligently to overcome these things because in working diligently to overcome them you grow yourself and ultimately that is what is most important is growing yourself so lastly well lastly I do want to share uh, a vision of my dog buddy again <laughs> buddy and lastly I do want to say that remember you are loved beyond measure you will always be taken care of and you are meant to simply diligently work towards your vision of course take plenty of self-care and rest but then when you are working diligently work towards your vision knowing that the most important thing is the growth that you get by working towards your vision not necessarily the vision itself, it's the growth that is most important. Know that you're always taken care of and simply come back to service and joy. Be well.